Okay, so starting off with brows, I'm taking the Anastasia Brow Palette and I'm taking the shade Darkest Brown, I think, or Dark Brown. And because mum's eyebrows are already cosmetically tattooed and she does like them a little bit darker, so I did go in with the powder just to fill in all the sparse areas. Then I'm taking a concealer brush with some Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Light and just using that to define her upper and lower brows. And then I'm just blending in that concealer just with a, this is a really small kabuki brush. I get heaps of like people asking me what brush this is, but I got it from eBay ages ago and it's perfect for doing this step. Then to set the eyelids, I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. I did actually apply some concealer to her eyelids as well, just to act as a primer. Then taking the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette and I'm taking the matte transition shade next to the black up the top and just using that as a transition and pretty much just working that into the crease and pretty much the whole lid as well. And as you can see, I'm just grabbing more and more product and slowly building up the color just because it's easier to grab less product than a whole bunch of product because it's harder to blend out. So I'm just really slowly grabbing more and more product and then I go in with a darker shade and work that into the outer corners of her eyes. Then I'm taking a little bit of the black and also working that into the outer corners of her eyes. Then I'm taking the Maybelline Master Precise um, gel, no not gel, it's like a felt tip liner and I actually gave this to mum. I found it in my little makeup collection and I just thought it'd be super easy because she wanted a really thin line and the um, applicator is like super, super thin. So I wanted to keep it nice and thin just because she has a little bit of like hooded eyelid so I didn't really want too much liner on the top. Then going in with the Benefit their real mascara just on a disposable mascara wand and just coating her lashes oh, 
So then I'm applying some individual lashes. Now I do tend to use individual lashes on my more mature clients just because one, they're way lighter, two, they look more natural, and three, they're definitely more comfortable than wearing strip lashes. So I just popped maybe like five or six on on the outer corners mainly, and then I just popped on a few shorter lashes on her inner corners, but not as many as the outsides. Then moving on to base, I'm taking the Mecca Cosmetica Hydrating Moisturizer. I really, really like this one. And just popping that all over her face first before primer. Then I'm taking the Professional Pearl Primer and just popping that all over her face, mainly focusing it on the center of her face where she has the most pores. So I start off at the center and then bring it on out to the perimeters of her face. Then spraying her face with a bit of MAC Fix Plus. And then for foundation, I went in with the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation, my favorite at the moment. And this one's in the shade Pantagonia. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, but I'll leave everything listed down below as always and just blending it out with a damp beauty blender. Then for concealer, I'm taking my favorite Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Light. This one was almost out, so I ended up just giving it to mum straight after I used it. But usually I'll deposit some on the back of my hand or on my metal palette and just place it on with a brush. Then I'm just blending it all in with the same damp beauty blender. Then to set the concealer underneath her eyes, I'm just taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I don't bake or anything. I feel like baking doesn't really do much for mature skin, so I just like to pack it on a brush. Then for the lower lash line, I'm just taking the same transition colors that we used on the top and just popping them on the bottom. Then to highlight the inner corners of the eyes, I'm taking the Astralis Metallics Eye Cream. Is it eye cream? No, cream eyeshadow. Um, and just placing that on the inner corners of the eyes. This one is just the champagne one, so it's not the white one, so it doesn't look too intense. And then I'm going over it with the Urban Decay Single Eyeshadow in the shade Polyester Bride. Then I'm just taking some more mascara and just meshing her real with her false lashes. Then for bronzer, I'm taking the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer and just placing that in her cheekbones. Then going in with some more Laura Mercier translucent powder and just baking underneath that contour just to define it a little bit more. Then going in with the MAC blush. I'm unsure of the name, but I'll leave it listed down below. It's just a matte one. And just placing that on the apples of her cheeks. Then for highlighter, I'm taking my favorite. Um, this is like an, it's called like enhancing lighting powder or something. It's by Mecca Cosmetica anyways. I'll leave it listed down below. Um, it's literally one of my favorite highlighters at the moment. I love how intense it is. So I'm placing that on her cheekbones, Cupid's bow, and down the bridge of her nose. I forgot what I was going to say for a minute. Then taking the Gerard Cosmetics Bel Air Lip Liner. This is more of a muted pink. Um, it's really, really pretty. And then over the top, I'm taking Angel Lipstick by MAC. This is really, really popular with mature clients, I find. And then I'm just taking the Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss in Sugar Sugar on top. Then just wiping away the excess translucent powder. Then to set, I'm taking the Glam Glow Glow Setter Setting Spray. And that is the final look done. Look how pretty she looks. She was so nervous to film this, but I was like, you are literally so perfect for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and learned something new. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.